This is Munchkin. Her Munchkin came yesterday, and Munchkin is what we call a lethal white. Doesn't mean he's lethal. Well, he is white, but um, this is what happens sometimes when you have a roan guinea pig mating with another roan or a um, Dalmatian guinea pig. Hey, sweetie, let me show you a pretty face. And every now and then, you get what we call a lethal guinea pig. They are always white. They have these little eyes, as you can see, on both sides, and they have undeveloped molars, jaw, teeth. Sometimes they don't have any molars, they don't have any teeth. He has some front teeth and on some, and actually a little bit of molar, so he's able to eat just a little bit. Uh, usually you don't really notice, you think he's a normal guinea pig. Yeah, it looks a little odd maybe, because when he's nursing, he looks, he, 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 you know, they do quite fine. And then when mommy is done with nursing, that is when you'll notice, like, oops, you know, there's something really wrong with this piggy because he's losing weight and he just seems to be you know, running around the cage with no purpose and making noise and that's because they're deaf and blind. Um, so it's kind of feeding time for him and we have to help him. Um, and he's been actually really like a few things here and he has been really liking the carrot. He's just made a little bit of effort already on the carrot and so yeah it's really tough to take care of these little guys and it is absolutely heartbreaking because they just don't do so good there are some highly functioning lethal guinea pigs and there are ones that you know they cannot be saved now I am NOT an expert on these guys and we are so absolutely slammed with the big rescue that we did of all those sick males that this little lucky one is going to San Diego where We Companions has a volunteer who I think specializes in little lethal white babies, lethal white guinea pigs. So they were very happy to take little munchkin off our hands. Now, are you hungry because you were very, very skinny? You ate like almost a whole piece of banana. Well, I say a whole piece, it was this big, but that was a lot for this little guy. Oh good, you just ate your poopy, that's good. So let's see what happens when I put this big tomato in there. You like that? Good baby. So we're very lucky that he has front teeth. He can actually eat a little bit. Now I remember my first one, it was a lady, well it was 20 plus years ago and this lady had um, given me a huge group of guinea pigs and one of them was looked like him. And of course he was my favorite because he was just so vulnerable and so, so sweet. And uh, come on, you don't like it? Try it again. Try it again. And I took a little guy to the vet and said, listen, what's wrong with this little guy? And the vet really didn't have no idea, but did realize that it was not sustainable. I couldn't keep this guinea pig so um, alive and I couldn't keep him, you know, fed properly so we, we made that decision to put him down and I remember it clearly like it was yesterday because that was one of the first times that I had to put down a guinea pig and imagine that was one of these little munchkins where I could there was nothing I could do you know and it, it was heartbreaking you see the little needle going and then you fall asleep and then you're waiting for the second needle and at that point you, you can't change your mind once that goes in it's just oh my god it still haunts me to this day that euthanasia still haunts me to this day okay so tomato did not go down too good how about this a little bit of you like that one you like that good what a good baby just so precious. But you know, you can see he's barely making a dent. He's barely making a dent in it. He's just shaving off like little pieces at a time. But you have a great appetite. That's really good. 
Now, what about, I'm gonna be making a mess here. I'm gonna put a little bit of critical care on my finger. Would you like some? And of course, can't see, it's going to have to smell it and want it. Come on, little baby. No. Here, here, a little closer. Huh? Yeah? No? No. I also got these cookies that I kind of soaked that are super soft. But they don't, he doesn't want the cookies. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and shred you a lot of really fine shred sun carrots for you. And then I'll feed you separate so that the big piggies can steal your stuff. But yeah, this is what is a lethal white. And they're easy to recognize because of the little eyes. The fact that they can be a little hyper and running around the cage, weaking, they can be very noisy. And a little dirty mouth because they have a hard time eating, so that's, that's pretty normal. And if you're lucky, they'll eat critical care from a, from a bowl. But this is highly specialized care um, that you, you know... It's, it's a really highly specialized care. Oh my god, you're so cute. Yeah, you go clean yourself, little baby. I have a few videos on lethal babies and a t teeth trim I did on a lethal. A little lethal that I found that was found on the street so we got some information on that as well and that was a very sad story because he seemed to be doing really really well and then so he, 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 that one was just walking down the street and someone had found him someone just literally left the lethal baby on the street Someone picked it up and brought it to me, and it seemed to have great appetite. Well, just like this one. And he was eating up a storm, and you'll see in the video as well. And I, I believe he died the next day. Just died. Just fell asleep and didn't wake up. Because there's a, you know, there, there's a lot wrong there, chromosome-wise, genetic-wise. I mean, there's a lot of things that, that are not right, that, that are not healthy that don't make for a healthy body unfortunately yeah little monkey so that's the story of the little boy okay. there I shredded it really fine what a good baby look at that it's much better huh